Hi, this is Steve from the Google Apps Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us online at gappstips.com and follow us on Google Plus and on Twitter. So I'd like to show you today a very quick tip on how to hide rows and columns in a Google Sheet. So here I am in Sheet. I have an example sheet with some fairly uh, straightforward data here. And this is actually a very simple thing to do, but quite powerful. Um, let's just imagine that I only want to show, uh, I don't want to show this column here, home state. OK, so I can select it and click on the drop down. And I can say, um, hide column, and that will hide the column. And you can see that there are a couple of little arrows here denoting that it's been hidden. And I can click here to bring it back again. Let's imagine that I only want to show uh, student name, gender, and extracurricular activity. So what I can do is select multiple columns, and then click on the drop down, and then say hide columns, C through E. And again, you can see the little arrows here. And what we can do for columns, we can also do for rows. So this sheet is uh, sorted currently by a student name, A, a through Z. So let's just say that for the Bs, Becky and Benjamin, I'm going to select both rows and click. Uh, right, I have to click. I have to right click here. There's no drop down. So right clicking. Uh, oh, I've just done that wrong. Let's just select both rows. Apologies. And right click again. And then I can see hide rows five and six. So I'm going to hide them. And likewise, with the um, with the columns, they're hidden with the little arrows here. One quick point on this, if I decide to sort the data, so I'm going to click on the whole sheet. I'm going to click on data and then sort range. I'll just tick here and say by student name Z to A. OK, and be aware of these little arrows here on lines uh, four through seven. And I'm going to say sort. You'll notice that everything's sorted now by Z to A, so uh, W at the beginning and A would be down here somewhere. And if I click now on these little lines, on the little arrows, it will bring the data back unsorted. So it doesn't get sorted while it's hidden. So just be aware of that. OK, and that's today's quick tip, hiding rows and columns in uh, Google Sheets. So thank you, as always, for watching. And remember that you can find more tips on our gappstips.com website. And if I scroll to the bottom here, you can follow us on Google Plus, and you can follow us on Twitter. So let us know how you get on. Uh, add some comments below, and keep watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.